Hello folks, um, today we discuss about factorial program using recursion. Um, so what is, before knowing about the program, we need to know what is a recursion is, right? So a recursion is a process in which function calls itself. That means in a function, you will have the same function which you are going to be called. So I'll give an example here, like I've, I've taken void uh, main function. In this main function, there is a sentence, this is recursion, which is written in printf. And in that main function, I'm again going to call the main function. See, what you call, what you are doing here? In this function, it is calling again which function? Itself. So this is called as recursion. So now what is happening here is, whenever it calls main function, it goes back to the main, again it prints this is recursion, again it calls main, goes back to main, this is recursion, main, so this is what? It is repetitively calling. That means, whenever you have an iterations, then instead of going for iterations you may have you may go for recursion okay but another thing is important here over here is so when this will come out of the program okay so but in this program it may not come out of the uh, come out of it because every time it is going to call so it will be a infinite function but infinite times this is recursion will be displayed so that is the reason why what you need to do is you have to put a condition using an if or if else you need to go for a condition you will force that function to, re to return without the recurs recursion call to be executed right so this is what so that means in a recursive function what you do is you will write an if statement so that it will come out of the uh, come out of that particular program or that come out of that particular function right so what are the advantages of recursion so advantages is here instead of writing iterative solutions you will go for recursion because iterative solutions are very big and complex and what are the disadvantages of recursion is it is difficult to trace and next is you need to write an if statement and then next is recursive uses more processor time okay so these are some disadvantages and next application says you use recursion in stacks so stacks use recursion that means whenever you are using a recursion it is based upon the stack that means everything will be under stack all right yes so next what we do is we write a program factorial program here to see how a recursion call is going to be happen See, don't, don't mind because every time I'm going to write uh, factorial itself because this is the third program which is I'm going to write factorial program. This is only just because that you will understand with the previous programs. That's it. Not, not uh, anything else, right? I'll be, I'll be uploading you a GCD program also using recursive function uh, in soon. Okay. So now we'll know how to write a factorial program okay whenever you're going to write a function then what you need to do is you need to write a functional declaration in c program and you call this in factorial int right so this is what you say it as um what do you select this is a function declaration and in main function you need a number and also to store the result you are going to write take an extra variable f and in printf you are writing enter a number scan f you are reading the number and next you are calling the function call okay whenever you are going to return something to a function then in main function or in a calling function you will assign it to a variable so like this f is equal to fact of num so fact of num will return some value and that is stored in f so whenever it is calling fact of num it will go and reach to the function definition that is int fact of int n what is n num is your n so this num is your actual parameter and n is your formal parameters whenever it is n equal to equal to 1 that is the number which you have taken as 1 then it returns 1 and whenever it is not 1 then it should return what n into fact of n minus 1 again what is what we are doing here we are calling the same function so as you are calling fact of n minus 1 it moves back here now this n minus 1 becomes what n so again it call it it moves into the uh, body and it checks whether n is equal to equal to n if not again it returns n into n fact, fact of n minus 1 so this factorial now fact function is now calling itself so that's why we call this as what fact uh, function recursive function 
So I'll take an example now, num equal to 5. So suppose I'll take num as 5. So whenever I say five, f is equal to fact of uh, num. So whenever I say fact of num, it will be 5. So it moves here now. If n equal to equal to 1, 5 equal to equal to 1, which is true? No, false. So else, return what? n into fact of n minus 1. So what is your, what do you get? Return 5 into fact of n minus 1 is what here? 5 minus 1, 4. And next again, this fact of 4 returns what? Return 4 into fact of n minus 1, that is fact of 3. Again, this fact of 3 will return what? Return 3 into fact of 2. Again, this fact of 2 returns what? 2 into fact of 1. What is now? What is n now? 1. So 1 equal to equal to 1, which is true. So it returns what? 1. Now you know what is fact of 1. What is fact of 1 now? 1. So whenever it is fact of 1 equal to 1, then fact of 2 becomes what? 2 becomes what? 2 into 1, right? 2. So fact 2 into fact of 1, that is becomes what? 2 into 1 equal to 2. Then what is fact of 3 now? Fact of 3 is 3 into fact of 2. So 3 into fact of 2 is what? 3 into 2 is equal to 6. Then what is fact of 4? Fact of 4 is 4 into fact of 3, that is 4 into 6 equal to 24. Then what is fact of 5? Fact of 5 is equal to 5 into fact of 4, that is equal to 5 into 24 equal to 120. So overall, f is equal to fact of 5, your fact of 5 value is what? 120, which is returning 120 here. So your output will be what? 120. So this is your C++ program. In C++ program, uh, what you need to do is, you have to write first factorial function and then main function. If you are writing factorial function after the main function, then you need to declare uh, you need to declare its um, de function declaration here, right? So in this way, you'll write your uh, factorial program. And my question here is, if you want to uh, find the factorial of a bigger number like 13 or 14 or 15, then at that time, what you need to do is, you need to declare your f in long int and here the return type should be long int, long space int fact of int n and here also it should be int num and this should be what? Long int f. Thank you so much.